So I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you're about to do virtual VLC and you have no idea what to expect. Well, guess what? Neither did I. And I'm here to tell you some, some inside secrets to virtual VLC. Um, yeah, when I uh, was about to go, I had no idea what to expect. I had no idea what to do and neither did a lot of people in my unit. So I just want to make this video to inform a lot of you about how, um, like how to start um, setting up your computer for everything and then the contents of virtual VLC and then just some random things that might help you in virtual VLC. So, so I would say the hardest part about virtual VLC was getting set up with all the websites you need to be set up before VLC. So I'd recommend starting as soon as possible to get all your stuff set up and I'm talking about you need your uh, you need to access your military email um, you need to access blackboard um, also and blackboard will connect to the class so you have to make sure you're connected to the class on blackboard and then also Microsoft Teams which it wasn't too bad getting signed up for Microsoft Teams it's actually really um, you're on Microsoft Teams for majority of the time, and it's actually not bad. Like that's not, that's an easy website to work with, so that's good. Um, but I would say getting into my military email was one of the hardest things I had to do, and connecting my Blackboard, and connecting my class to Blackboard. Um, just make sure you're doing all that. Um, they're pretty lenient. My instructors were pretty lenient with us about technology issues, so. Don't be too worried about that. I mean, it does depend on the instructor, but um, they were surprisingly really understanding about that stuff. So, <clears throat> but I wouldn't take advantage of that and try to start doing this as soon as possible. Um, a cat card reader, you have to be able, your computer has to be able to work with a cat card reader. I had to download programs. I had to call people. I had to, uh, chat with people online in order to be able to really use my CAD card correctly because I haven't been able to. Also, I have an Apple computer. If you have an Apple computer, I suggest borrowing a computer from someone um, because I used a Dell computer laptop. That one worked way better with all the websites and just makes your life a lot easier. Um, so yeah. Make sure your computer can work with the cat card reader because I had a hard time setting that up. Um, so contents of the virtual BLC. So you'll be doing about five essays, a presentation and a couple videos, um, like two presentations basically, and uh, drills and ceremonies videos. So you don't even do these presentations live um, again, this depends on your instructor, so I'm just giving insights about my experience. I'm not sure about what everyone else is experiencing, but we didn't have any live presentations or live, um, like, um, evaluations or anything. It was all, we, you could pre-record your presentations and everything that you were doing and just turn it in on to Teams. Um, again... It's different for every instructor, but that's that was pretty much what we did. Also, I, um, I s suggest, and it'll make your life a lot easier. If you like your life to be easier, and if you like work, if you like to make work easy, just buy one, one month's subscription to Grammarly.com, which is a website that you put, you copy and paste your paper into, your papers into, and it will grade it for you. And you just click on the things you want to change. If you get one month's subscription to that and put all your essays in it, you will do very well in the class. Um, I don't know if they're going to change it or anything, but that's how they grade the papers is by the grade that Grammarly gives you. Um, they also grade you for participation. So, um, I highly suggest participating in every lecture every day, a couple times a day. So yeah, just be active in the lectures. 
um, and these lectures were on Microsoft Teams for us. And we also didn't have the cameras on. So we did class, we didn't have to wear a uniform or anything, but that also depends on your or your instructors. <clears throat> I was called the night before about what time to be up the next day and what uniform. So it was really last second and I was freaking out, but um, someone should contact you um, about that information before it starts, BLC starts. <clears throat> the instructors were pretty lenient on the technology errors and stuff because it just Sometimes it happens without, just everyone has technology problems, so it's okay, and a lot, and the instructors were really lenient about it, but don't take advantage of that because um, it'll show if you take advantage of it. So um, that's pretty much it. If anyone has any questions about um, virtual BLC, just leave a comment and I can answer those. My instructors from, were from Nebraska, so if you have a Nebraska unit instructing you, um, it's likely to be the same as mine. But I know people from I have instructors from different areas and have a different experience. So let me get Zoe up here. Come here to say hi. Say hi. I get to hang out with Zoe while on virtual BLC. It's great. It was great. She's like, I didn't want you to pick me up. But anyway, good luck on your virtual BLC journeys. It's gonna be okay. And um, you're gonna do well. So, especially knowing all that information. So um, have a good one and good luck.